Logan, as one of the returnees in this movie, what is something that you learned from filming these super complicated puzzle scenes in film one that you found coming in handy this time around? I learned nothing, really. It just uh, continued to be as torturous as the first one. But, um, you know, the thing is, uh, the character has changed. Um, where he was a cynical cigarette smoking, um, just kind of a-hole in the first one. He becomes this um, guy that finds a second chance at life and he wants to come um, at this with full force. He wants to support Zoe in the journey to take down Minos. And so he really has a, more of a heroic element um, within the second one. And um, yeah, we um, were able to come together and uh, it, he learns a lot more about teamwork in the sense of all of this. I remember hearing that the billiard room in film one took the most amount of time to shoot. So what earned that honor on this film? What, what shoot lasted the longest for all the game rooms? Either Subway or, or the Subway. beach? It was the subway. Subway was, the yeah. subway was the first one. And I think that um, we really wanted to hit the ground running with the first room, really make uh, that pop for the audience. And um, wow. I mean, what I saw in the trailer and I saw in the film was something that I didn't ever expect. It was uh, an added element that um, just felt super real. And I was just amazed at what they were able to accomplish. I was going to guess the bank. <laughs> That was hard too. All of them are hard. That was hard for myself just because the counters were high and I had to do the most amount of jumping onto the counters and you weren't allowed to use your hands because that might set something off. And so it was just near impossible jumping to something that's here with your feet and somehow have a four foot. That's a different movie. That's a Marvel movie. So, um, so yeah, that was my hardest stunt. Holland, just because... I'm a little obsessed with Channel Zero, and I think that this world is a better place if we keep talking about it. Is there anything that you picked up working on Butcher's Block that you find coming in handy in new projects uh, that you do in the horror genre? Yeah, I am about to actually go play a role where I am multiple characters. Um, and so uh, schizophrenia is almost, it's almost like a term of cancer. There's an umbrella of different kinds of schizophrenic people. And so um, this is a different kind of schizophrenic person, but through Channel Zero, I actually found a lot of inspiration of diving into different books and YouTube channels, um, dealing with different types of, of schizophrenia. Yeah. We need more of these movies and we need more installments of Channel Zero. I'm very broken hearted that that came to an end. Yeah. Nick, Nick was lovely to work with. And Olivia is a friend of, of uh, both Logan and I. So the worlds collide. <laughs> I, I like hearing that. Good, good people, good talent colliding is always good for all of us on the other end of things. Um, Logan, is this the first time you've been in a movie sequel where you get to reprise a role? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, you know, it was great being able to continue the story. I mean, I've done some series roles where it's like, you know, you continue to live the story, um, but that's a kind of a day in, day out situation. But um, yeah, I mean, two years later, here we are working um, with uh, Ben and Zoe and trying to figure out like how we can take down this evil force known as Minos. And so, you know, it gave us the time to kind of really ponder on how we were gonna continue the series. And that was a big collaborative experience with Adam, myself, Taylor, and the rest of the creative crew. And so um, the great thing is, is everybody listens and everybody has kind of a say in what goes. And I uh, got to sit down with Adam and the screenwriter to try to figure out how I would portray this character the best. And, you know, my, my voice was heard and it, it, was, it was great to be able to collaborate in that experience again. That's super cool to hear, especially when in, in the TV realm, I imagine you're working with a different director every single episode. So it's probably nice to build that rapport. Absolutely. Yes. So this is a little uh, random, but it kind of feels akin to escape rooms. If both of you had the opportunity to be a contestant on the game show of your choice, what would you pick and why? Oh, damn. Well, you know, I want to be on Wipeout because, you know, I've experienced all of this torture in the movie. So if there's a couple of pads and some dirty water, hell, I could win. I believe you. Wipeout well, would be really fun. A, a Rachel versus, I'll, I'll take you up on that, Logan. Um, I also think it's not really a game show, but um, I am an amazing race freak and would give anything to be on the show. 
They, those both feel like they kind of align with escape room to a degree. Absolutely. They are. One's a global torture, one's, a, you know, a day in the park torture. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe that will, you know, make this a, a fine trilogy. We'll do escape room meets amazing race meets wipeout. Let's do it. I escape could see it happening. Wipeout. Where where do you guys stand on extreme haunted houses? Would you ever do something like that or do you have limits? I almost uh, appreciate the haunted house experience a bit more than the escape room experience myself because um, there's always um, room to run away. Um, in the escape room, you're always kind of stuck until you can figure things out. Um, I, yeah, I've grown a thick callus on what is scary to me throughout the years of working on, you know, horrific things. And so, um, yeah, I'd say bring it on. Give me that 10 room, 10, 10 leveled uh, haunted house or whatever, and I'll be able to experience it. Go look, at, go look up Black Blackout haunted houses after this. And I think you might rethink the answer to that question. <laughs> I, I was supposed to go on a haunted house tour uh, nationwide. It was a bucket listing of mine and uh, channel zero actually made me so that I couldn't go uh, schedule wise, but I still on my list. There's one in Wisconsin, I believe that is a cornfield and uh, you have a paintball gun and so do the zombies. So it's like this paintball meets, uh, you know, haunted house theme. Um, so that was like one I'm looking forward to. And now I'm going to be checking out Blackout. Um, I don't know if I should have recommended that to you, but if you do it, let me know what you think about it. Before they kick okay. me out of here, Logan, I have one spoiler question for you. Don't worry, we will save this for after the movie's released. In the moment as you're playing it on that plane, What's going through Ben's mind or, or rather, what do you think his next move is going to be? Is he going to put on the oxygen mask like everyone around him? Or does he look at Zoe and know that something's up? Minos has them again. First, he says, oh, no, not again. And then um, second. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, I think that they've been tortured enough. They it, they've grown accustomed to this. And so now um, they need to you know, take the reins and just do whatever they can. Not going to put that oxygen mask on because who knows what's going in there. I mean, although gas is getting thrown into the experience too. So God, you know, I, I wish I thought that far, but then they yelled cut and I was tired. So it's time to, um, to think on it until the next one. That's totally fair. As long as I get an another one. So thank you guys for your time today. Big congrats on this one and see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.